Hi, I'm John Yoy, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be walking you through some of Ashland County's park systems. Uh, while we're under this COVID quarantine, we're, we're going to do some tours of these. I'm reminding you that the parks are open. And so today I'm here at Cool Springs Wildlife Conservation Park, and we're gonna see what we can find here already. I'm not sure if you can pick up the sound, but there are definitely spring peepers. This is the second day of spring, and they are definitely not practicing social distancing. So we'll see if we can find some here, and uh, let's find out what we can see. All right, so I just wanted to show you a map of what we're looking at here. Um, there's several large parks in our area. The Cool Springs Wildlife Conservation Area is about 192 total acres. Uh, we're just going to see a small part of it and we're going to focus on these uh, pool areas, these pond areas um, that we see here. Okay, there's about three tiered ponds here and you can fish in these ponds, our fish, and um, it runs right along the Jerome Park River. Uh, water's coming down pretty fast today, pretty quick because we just had a good rainfall come through the area. Thunderstorms in Ashland County too. And all of this water actually flows down from a natural spring. So let's go and see what happens. Oh, he's gonna swim away and be shot. This is the second pond. You can see there's a box there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's for wood ducks. Would be my suspicion, but I'm not sure. You can see there's some drainage there to go from pond to pond. There, a nice little picnic area. We'll continue going up the hill. And here's the upper pond. And I keep scaring off some of these uh, waterfowl here. There's just some ducks that, that flew off. And you can actually see up on the bridge, there's a nice little bench. There is a wonderful hiking trail um, that we'll, we'll do a short little bit of. And over here, you can see one of those natural springs I was talking about. So we'll go and get a better look at that. And another one. And here is the source of some of this water anyways. Um, so there's several natural springs on this farm. Uh, or what was the farm in this park and so there's a couple places where it comes out there but of course it's also fed in part by the drainage of the nearby land and one of the nice things about coming when it's this cool out is uh you won't get the mosquitoes once the summer and fall come around uh, this this place does carry uh quite a bit of mosquitoes, it does breed quite a few mosquitoes, and so I'd recommend um, bug spray if you come later. All right, just above the ponds, the trail actually splits. I'm going to take this short hike today. Um, you can see there's, there's quite a few beech trees, some oaks in here, and maybe some hickories and, and things like that. So a deciduous forest, but this does go through a mix of habitats. Um, again, this is the Jerome Fork River here, and I guess I should at least hit this one highlight down here. Mm. Oh, a waterfall, so you can see down the end there, a nice little waterfall. Uh, so it's a very beautiful place to hike, and I've only hiked just a very short way, maybe a quarter mile at this point. Uh, and, and and always turn back and it's pretty flat up to here so if you're worried about uh, the hike being too strenuous from this point at least it's not now there is two and a half miles of hiking trail so you know you can, you can choose which way you want to hike there's this way that goes up to a more of a prairie land type habitat or go the right here to the deciduous forest which is what I'm going to take all right so I'm up at that bench that we saw earlier looking down at these ponds and you can see it's quite the scenic view very peaceful place you want to come and relax 
get all the stress and anxiety out from everything that's going on in the world right now. So I'm gonna end this where I started. Uh, this is that front pond again. There you can see a little more clearly it's the painted turtle. Um, I did see a couple of them floating around so it's not uh, or she is not the only one. You see a smaller one floating around. And so hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, please visit our park system. Thank you.